I consider myself a Canadian Arab. My father's from Syria, my mother's Palestinian. I was raised Muslim, but I'm not a practicing Muslim. It was very important for my parents that we did not forget where we came from, that we learned how to speak Arabic. But when I was like growing up with my sisters, we were sort of bummed about it. Like we didn't we didn't like having different names and we didn't like feeling different. We lived in really small towns, and so we were sort of very visible that way, and we never really felt Canadian because kids, they can be mean, always said that, you know, you guys aren't really Canadian, go back to your country, go back to your home, and I'd be like, go back? <laughs> like, where am I going to go back to? It was very confusing because I, I didn't understand why I didn't fit in, and I, I hated where I came from. Like, I always tried to sort of deny it, but at the same time, I think it made me a lot stronger as an artist later on because you know what once you've once you've gone through that like once you've sort of had very 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 racist experiences you can sort of take it and use it my sister and I were so alienated you know in Canada we didn't fit in in the Middle East I didn't I didn't feel like I fit in so I started writing I made all these short films that are like snippets out of people's lives and they they were Arab or they were Muslim but that wasn't really what was defining them, you know? And so I was trying to like turn the stereotype on its side and show the world like a different kind of era. This is public property. This has to be a joke. Because there is so much stereotype that Arabs face, that Muslims face. And so I felt like it should be my job as a storyteller to sort of show a different side of this culture. One of my first films, Do Nothing, where I was like, okay, I'm gonna put like a, a young 11 year old Muslim girl on the street and sort of give her an action that a lot of other young girls feel like when they're at that age and show that this Muslim girl feels like every other regular girl. 